Albania's president has pledged to relinquish the leading constitutional role of the Communist Party and transform the country into a market economy. President Ramiz Alia told the party's national conference that Albania wanted to play a full part in Europe and pleaded for Western aid and credit to revive the economy. But he stressed that Albania would not give up its Marxist ideology. From there, Bill Hamilton reports. A sight that few outsiders have ever had the chance to behold. Albania, one of the most beautiful countries in Europe, yet unquestionably the poorest. In the foothills of the Daiti Mountains, these peasants earn a meager 10 pounds a week. An age apart from the rest of Europe, even here, life is changing. New reforms mean they can now keep one animal for their own profit. In these communities, where most families have at least five children, the smallest improvement in living standards can mean a big difference. Land, like everything else in Albania, is owned by the state. Agricultural methods outdated and laborious. If oxen pull the carts, then most of the milking is still done by hand. But the arrival of the first milking machine has already put production up 20%. For the workers, there seem few advantages to be gained from all this manual labor. Uh, is she allowed to share in any of the profits of the farm? No, she hasn't any profits. Manufacturing industry is in an even worse state. Much of it survives on 1950s machinery supplied by Albania's last major ally, China. There are frequent failures, production rates are painfully slow, and even where bonus payments are allowed, they're extremely difficult to earn. New equipment is slowly being introduced, but economists put the price of modernizing Albanian industry at over one and a half billion pounds. Twine from the new plant ends up here in a labor-intensive factory at Kavaya, where the slogans of the ruling Communist Party demand maximum effort. There's even talk of introducing a limited amount of private enterprise. In the capital city, Tirana, the free market economy is undergoing its first nervous steps. With meat strictly rationed, this butcher has been allowed to break from the state monopoly and charge double for everything he sells. Those who can't afford to pay up face queues like this. Every purchase has to be meticulously recorded for inspection by the state. Yet in the shoemakers next door, the owner has turned down the chance to go private. Staying with the state, he says, is the best way to ensure a reliable source of supply. I get my materials from the state, and they're very hard to come by. Albanian paranoia about invasion from the outside world is finally over. Thousands of concrete pillboxes like these, which protect every village and every factory, are to be demolished. Albania has decided that joining the new Europe is the only way to stave off economic disaster.